Hey everyone, it's Jo, and today's topic is about pronunciation. Because um, my mom and I, my mom loves to correct my grammar and pronunciation, and I love to correct hers, and the pair of us are quite ridiculous about it. Um, I have been saying something wrong my whole life. I have a cat with a upper respiratory in problem, and I've been saying respiratory all my life. So my mother corrected me, I looked it up. We usually go to Webster's.com or whatever, and it gives the pronunciation. And it's respiratory, not respiratory. Who knew? Okay, so anyways, I came across this uh, mem online, which was a uh, pronunciation mem, like how do you pronounce these words? And I thought it was hilarious, so I was going to go ahead and do it. And I added a few more at the bottom just because I'm Canadian and I have a distinctly Canadian, Canadian accent. And I wanted to throw it out there to YouTube viewers. Please make a video and uh, respond to this one explaining how you, uh, reading this list of words, I'll put, put it at the bottom, and you just re read the words and how you say it, and any comments you might have on those words and why you think you say it the way you do. And they're kind of stupid words, but anyway, um, I'll go through the list quick and then I'll talk about them after them. So the first is my username, which is Monty Ollie. Roll, comfortable, orange, both, tour, toilet, sure, Nevada, Roof, chocolate, root, drawer, coupon, ramen noodles, pecan, o occasionally I'll say pecan, but that's more to make my mother laugh, okay, pecan, caramel, milk, again, Caribbean, wash, New Orleans, crayons, envelope, coffee, Reese's Pieces, Data or data, depending on what I'm talking about. If it's data, the character on Star Trek, or if it's data that I'm working with. About, morning, stalking, stalking, caught, and caught. Okay, now we'll just talk about some of these. Um, some of them that were making me laugh, sure, sure, sure. I guess I say sure. It might be a Canadian thing. We, we do hard R's a lot, like car, going to the bar. That's, a, that's an East Coast thing. And I know I lived with a bunch of Newfoundlanders and uh, Cape Breton Islanders when I lived in the Arctic. And I used to harden my R, and I, I, I still haven't lost that yet. So the word sure, I think what they're trying to get at is some people say sure, 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 some, I say sure. Uh, roof, chocolate, root is a good one because I know Americans tend to say route. Um, I guess if I'm trying to route out, uh, sometimes you say route, but most of the time you say route, like I'm taking that route to get to where I'm going. Um, coupon. Coupon. We don't have coupons in, the, in Canada the way Americans do. Americans have that Sunday like thing in their newspaper where you get, you know, a million coupons and you can use them at the grocery store. Oh, grocery versus grocery. That's another one. We should put that on the list. I will put that one. Grocery. Um, anyway, you can, you guys have a lot of coupons. Americans have a lot of coupons. We don't. Um, it's very, very rare. It's coming now a little bit, but really, usually the cashier doesn't know what to do. Like, they have to sort of figure it out and call the manager over or somehow, like, you're, like look at the coupon and you're, it's not like they scan them. Anyway, we don't say coupon, or I don't. Anyway, some people do. Uh, caramel, Caribbean. I remember having this argument with my grade four teacher because she said Caribbean and I remember we argued about it and we looked it up and according to the dictionary I had, it said Caribbean. But if you ask people who come from there, I guess they pronounce it differently. Some people say Caribbean, some people say Caribbean. Which brings me to New Orleans, which is the way I pronounce it. I have used to say New Orleans because that's the way it looked, but I've been there several, several times. And kind of as a courtesy to the people who live there, I say it the way they say it. Um, you'll see me do that a lot. I'll often pronounce things the way locals pronounce it. I will take a stab at it because I think it's wrong to just Canadian, Canadianize, Americanize, Anglicize a word just because you don't like having to make your, your mouth having to make that sound. Especially when you live in Canada, you have to say a lot of French words. You don't have to, but I mean French words come up on occasion, like um, Quebec. I don't say Quebec, I say Quebec. That's uh, Quebecois, Quebec. It's, uh, it's the French way to pronounce it. I'm not even pronouncing it totally Francophonish, but I don't it the way some Anglophiles do. Um, so New Orleans is the way the locals pronounce it. So that's the way I pronounce it too. Okay, about is the big one. That's the Canadian about, about, about. I don't know if I say it. I mean, I, I figured it out one time. I was 15 the first time I went to the States for an extended period of time. I went to Arizona on this um, exchange thing when I was in Air Cadet for a couple of weeks. And I remember the Americans bugging us about our accents. And at the time I figured it out. An American says about 
it, to me it's A-B-A-L-T, about. That's what it sounds like. There's an owl, like house. I live in a house. <laughs> I live in a house. And I, I go about my business in the morning in my house. Um, anyway, further to that, I saw a documentary about American versus Canadian accents. And I actually live very close to Buffalo, so I have a very... Um, the Buffalo accent is the one that I hear on TV most often, and it's um, when I go cross border, it's the one I hear. It's a, it's a Western New York accent, and it's very distinctive. Um, but I would say across the board, Americans tend to pronounce these two words differently: stocking, as in put on a pair of stockings. And she was being stalked by a stalker. She, he, you know, he was stalking her. Americans tend to say, uh, let me just think about this: I put on a pair of stockings. And he's stacking her, stacking. Whereas I say it identically. Canadians tend to pronounce those two words identically. I put on a pair of stockings, he was stalking her. Same thing with the words caught and caught. You sleep, you put the baby to sleep in a cot. I got caught cheating on my exam. Americans would say I put the baby to sleep in a cat. And I got caught cheating on my exam. Which I think is hilarious. It's just little distinctions here and there. Um, anyway, I thought that meme was a riot. So feel free to respond and put your uh, your accent on on the books for us all. Uh, Joe, signing out from Canada with my Canadian accent. Hey, I missed one, so I'm just gonna stick it in quickly. I forgot to talk about the word morning, which is the reason I put it on this list. Is I get so annoyed with what I call newscaster voice. Typically female newscasters, they pronounce things very extremely, and I don't know if this is a Canadian thing or not, but um, they have a very severe way of talking, and I think they learn it in like journalist school or whatever, and they pronounce morning, morning. This morning things, and I keep thinking, why are you saying that? Can't you pronounce I-N-G? Morning? This morning there was a crash on the highway. This morning drives me nuts. Anyway, that was my final addendum to our... Uh, to R. R or our? I'm going to add that one too. Do you say the le the word O-U-R to pronounce it our? R. Again, like the word sure, I say R. I'm going to have to think about that. I do say R. Okay. See you later.